trust in you. The song you just heard was one I wrote in 1981. When I grew up, music was a big part of my life. I come from a large family. There were six of us kids, and when I was 10 years old, my dad left us for what he thought was greener pastures. I think that's why I looked to music. I looked to music for a sense of identity, a way of saying, hey, look, I'm here, notice me. My Jewish dad was not religious at all, but mom was a devout Catholic and made us go to church every Sunday. When I left home, soon after graduating high school, I also left religion. I didn't want anything to do with it. Though one thing did stay in my mind from all that I learned in the Catholic Church, I knew there was an afterlife, a heaven and a hell. I couldn't shake that. I knew deep inside that there was more to reality than just this life but I was never sure of where I would end up, heaven, hell. Catholics taught about this purgatory, this in-between place. Not good enough to go to heaven, but not bad enough to go to hell. I wasn't too bad, but wasn't too good either. So I was hoping for purgatory, but wasn't even sure of that. And no matter what happened to me in this life, I did want to be sure that I would be in good standing with God when I died. A few years out of high school, I had a friend who told me he had found Jesus. Now I knew Jim before he was a Christian, nice guy, but now there was something different about him. Such peace, joy, a sense of purpose that I didn't see in him before. He now came across to me as one who knew who he was, why he was here, and where he was going. At a dinner uh, with some of his friends, Jim asked me, if I wanted to believe in Jesus and receive this gift of eternal life. Sure, I said, thinking that this was my ticket out of hell and a guarantee for heaven. So I prayed and asked Jesus to come into my life and grant me this eternal life. After that prayer, someone blessed the food. We ate dinner. That was it. No fireworks, no signs and wonders. But the next day, it was clear something had happened inside me. I had peace, joy. I knew the guilt that I had been carrying all my life was gone. I felt clean, light. I knew in my knower that I now belonged to Jesus forever, that he was real and would be with me forever, and I would be with him forever. And another thing I noticed, I had love for every person, every person. I knew this deep sense of being clean, having assurance of heaven, love for everyone, couldn't just happen. He really did enter my life, and he has been with me ever since, for the last 50 plus years. He's shown me that this life now is just a training ground for an eternal reign with him in the kingdom to come. On the cross, Jesus took the payment for our sin. God, knowing that sin, in order to be forgiven, needed a righteous payment. So, in love, instead of punishing us, he sent Jesus and Jesus took that punishment for us. So in essence, God said, I am satisfied with that payment that Jesus made. Now, anyone who believes in my son, God saying, I will grant eternal life. 
Does that sound familiar? You may have heard that Bible verse, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. That's in John chapter three, verse 16. Jesus, who rose from the dead and promised to return and make all things new, is wanting all people to receive this free gift of eternal life. Jesus invited me to join him in getting this good news out. Good news means gospel. That's what this video clip is all about. Jesus loved us and is loving us, and he's teaching me to join him in his love for all people. That's been my life for the last 50 plus years. I don't do it perfectly, but I do it as best as I can. I love you. And I desire that you believe in Jesus so that not only you would know the joy of being assured that you have eternal life with him forever, but that you'd also know that he will spare you from an eternity without him. Jesus said that he is the only way to God. There is no other way to be cleansed and granted this eternal life. I live to help people see this truth in hopes that they too will have this blessed assurance that I have of being with him forever. As the Apostle Paul said, in light of this sure resurrection of the dead, of the just and the unjust, Paul said, I always take pains to have a clear conscience before God and people. That's in Acts chapter 24, verse 15 and 16. Contact me if you'd like to meet for coffee and talk a little bit more about this very important subject. God bless you.